Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Vladimir Kramnik and Vasily Ivanchuk. This very sharp game was played in 2020. Kramnik had white pieces and he started with e4. Ivanchuk played c5, the Sicilian defense. Knight to f3, d6, d4. C takes on d4, knight takes on d4. Knight to f6, knight to c3. G6, the dragon variation, bishop to e3, bishop to g7, f3, preparing the Yugoslav attack, knight to c6, queen to d2, Ivanchuk castled king said and Kramnik castled queen side, black to move. Ivanchuk played d5, e takes on d5, knight takes on d5, Knight takes on c6, pawn takes knight, white to move. Bishop to d4 was played. For knight takes on d5, please see the game Griga and John who played in 2005. Back to our game. Bishop to d4, e5, bishop to c5, attacking the rook black to move. Instead of moving the rook, bishop to e6, knight to e4. Let's take it back. If bishop takes rook, then queen takes bishop, after knight takes on d5, c takes on d5, and black is a compensation for the sacrificed exchange. Back to our game. That is why in this position Kramnik played knight to e4, rook to e8, h4, h6, g4, queen to c7, g5, h5, closing the files. Queen to e1, knight to f4, bishop to d6, queen to b6, bishop to c5, queen to c7, c4 black to move perhaps some players would play bishop to f5 do you agree that was a big surprise ivanchuk played bishop to d5 very nice move bishop to d6 let's take it back if c takes on d5 c takes on d5 this position five is black back to our game so we have bishop to d6, queen to b6, bishop to c5. If c takes on d5, c takes on d5. Again, black is better. Back to our game. We have attacking the queen, queen to c7, rook to h2, bishop takes on e4, bishop to d6, queen to c8, Queen takes on e4, c5, b4. This is quite a risky move. Let's take it back. Perhaps some more cautious player would play king to b1. Or maybe a3. b4 looks somewhat risky. The game continued. Bishop to f8. b takes on c5. Let's take it back. If bishop takes on e5, then bishop to g7 and black wins. Back to our game. b takes on c5, queen to a6, rook to b2, queen to a3, king to b1, bishop takes on d6, c takes on d6, rook from a to b8, rook to b7, Rook from e to d8, c5. This looks scary. Maybe. It would be very scary if black could not take the pawn on c5. But Chucky did. Queen takes on c5, d7, black to move. How would you continue now? 
Chucky played this very cool move. Knight to d5. This is a winning move. Forcing white to take on d5. Queen takes on d5. If rook takes on d5, what happens then? Then uh, rook takes on b7. Check and after king to a1, queen to c3. Check us mate us back to our game. That is why Kramnik had capture with the queen. Queen takes queen. Rook takes queen. Rook takes on b7. Check. King to c2. Rook takes pawn. Rook takes on e5. Black played the move and white resigned and the move is rook to d4. Kramnik resigned. For the entertainment purpose, I will show you just one line. Perhaps rook to e4, trying to save the pawn on the h file. Then rook to c7, check after king to b3. Rook takes rook, pawn takes rook. Rook to c1, attacking the bishop on the way to attack the pawn on the h file. After bishop to c4, rook to h1. King to b4, rook takes on h4. Bishop to d5, rook to g4. And the pawn is marching. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess. And bye for now.